Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Alicia and I share beauty and lifestyle videos, so I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. But today I'm gonna to be showing y'all what's in my car, so if y'all wanna see all the random stuff in it, then just keep watching. So I joked about doing a what's in my car video about two years ago after my first what's in my bag video because I talked about having a pocket knife in my wallet and someone commented saying I'm pretty sure that size is illegal to carry on you but I live in Tennessee it's not illegal so I joked that she would love a what's in my car because it is not a knife in my car. I'm gonna save that for last because I feel like it's kind of a controversial issue or not issue but controversial item. You'll probably already know what it is, but anyways, I don't have a whole lot, so hopefully it's not too boring, but I try and keep my car pretty clean as far as items in it. I don't always keep it clean as in dusting and vacuuming, but it is real clean inside because I cleaned it just for y'all yesterday, but it was long overdue, so now it looks really nice but i'm not really in my car a whole lot so i feel like i don't accumulate a whole lot but you should see it after a photo shoot because it is a disaster i change my car so i'll just take things off throw it in the back throw my shoes in the back and yeah it's a disaster but anyways i'm gonna start with my side door i don't really have a whole lot in here I actually did clean a lot out whenever I vacuumed. I threw away a lotion that was, I don't even know how many years old. Okay, so here is my door. You can see there's not a whole lot in it. So I have a microfiber towel. I actually had this in the passenger door, but I thought that was kind of dumb because if I needed it to wipe off my side of the windshield, it's hard to reach over there so I put it over here and I actually used it to clean off little nose prints from my fur babies. I also have a Victoria's Secret body spray that I actually should probably throw out too because I don't even know how old it is. It is the scent Fabulous which is one of my favorites. And sorry if I sound stuffy, I am getting over a cold or something so I am still a little stopped up. That's why I sound so awful, but I wanted to film this video for y'all because I thought it would be really fun. So I also have two hand sanitizers, which I feel like is the new normal now, but I'm pretty sure I had a hand sanitizer in here before all the craziness. I have just a original Germex, so I have actually been using this one. I don't know if it does what it's supposed to. It's also from Victoria's Secret. I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to see that. It is a tropical pump scent and it is a spray with aloe, it says. So I just love this spray because I feel like it's less messy. And I have a heavy duty pepper spray. I actually carry that in to work a lot because sometimes I had to work in a mall. And of course in the winter time, it gets dark earlier. So sometimes I wouldn't leave work until it was dark and I would have to, you know, walk out to the parking lot by myself so I would keep this with me. And so now I just keep it in my door, but I have better protection that you'll see in a little bit. Okay, so now on to my center console. Okay, so I do have some change in here. I have a little bottle of a leave that only has two left, so I need to put some more in there. I actually forgot I had that in here. And then I have one of these little scent refills. So I have these little owl clips from Bath and Body Works. Oh. How cute are these? I love owl. And I just think this one is so cute. And then I love how that one had like the fur on it. But anyways, they are little scent clips. So that right there you can see how it's yellow is a scent which is out so I need to take that out and then put this one in so it is like a refill for these. I have a pair of sunglasses that I also forgot about and they're really cute too. I think they're a little crooked from being in there but how cute are these? They're Jessica Simpson. They're also super dirty. I don't know if y'all can see but yeah those were in there that I forgot about. I have a bottle of acetaminophen. I 
also forgot about this because I have looked for hair ties multiple times when I was in my car. So it's just a little Victoria's Secret bag that has hair ties and bobby pins in it that I completely forgot about and I needed a hair tie last time I took pictures in Chattanooga. If you missed my cute picture places in Chattanooga, be sure to watch that. I posted it last week. Really cute picture spot. But yeah, I needed a hair tie to hold up my shorts. And then I have some car coasters. These are what I had in my car or in my cup holders before I got my current ones. So that is actually all that is in my center console. I did have a little deodorant, but it had melted and leaked out. So whenever I was cleaning my car, I actually took that out. And then there was half of a Starbucks napkin because I think I needed a napkin, but that was my last one. So I like ripped it in half, I'm pretty sure. I do have my keys right here that I wanted to show y'all, but I always keep them in my purse because my car is a push start button. And then to unlock my car, I just have to slip my hand down in the handle. And then to lock it, I just press a button. So it is completely hands-free. So I don't ever need my keys unless I want to automatic start it. I do have that button option. But here is what they look like. I did get this pink silicone cover off of Amazon. I had it on my last car keys and I knew I wanted another one for this car because I love pink. If you couldn't tell, it actually matches my nails. Pink, my favorite color. I'm a bit obsessed if you're new here. I'm also obsessed with leopard print. So on my keys, I think this is our house key <laughs> and then I have two little cars so I don't even think I mentioned what kind of car I have I have a 2018 Honda Civic and I am obsessed with it I got it brand new I had a Civic before it was just an older one so I just upgraded and I love it Honda's last forever it gets good great it gets great gas mileage it has the touch screen, which I'll show y'all like my dash and all of that too. It has a backup camera and it also has a camera on my passenger mirror to show when I turn my blinker on. It shows me like that side of my car, like my blind, blind spots. I can't talk today. So I think that is really cool. Um, back to my keys. I have this little rogue weight belt. I think that is so cute. I got it when we were really into CrossFit. We just kind of did stuff on our own. I have a key that says love. This is actually from our wedding. It was Alice in Wonderland theme and I got a pack of little keys to like scatter on the tables and stuff. So I wanted a little keepsake. So I got this one. I have a little B keychain for my last name and then I have this little baby Yoda thing my husband ordered a few of these and he's like you want a baby Yoda I was like sure I don't really like Star Wars I did watch a couple ep episodes of the Mandalorian who doesn't love baby Yoda so I also have a cup in here but I don't keep it in here I just have it in here for right now since I'm talking a lot in my video and my throat is still kind of scratchy so I have some water in here for when I get a little parched and then the coasters I have now are these pink Louis Vuitton inspired ones I love these so much first of all they're pink second of all they're Louis Vuitton inspired and I didn't think I was gonna like them because they are like a soft cloth material but it's kind of a good thing because that absorbs if your drink sweats or anything whereas like the hard ones it kind of just runs off into the cup holder so those are actually kind of better okay I have this little pocket right here and then in that pocket I just have two things I also cleaned that out I had my work name tag because I just left it in here that way I wouldn't forget it so I would just put it on whenever I got to work and then whenever I got off of work I just put it back that way I would always have it but I also have this little coach keychain 
that's actually a little bit sad, but it broke. It is from my last dog, Abby. She had a coach collar and this was on it and it broke off. I think when I was taking her to get her hair cut or something because I'd always leave her collar in the car and it broke and I just left it here. Now she is no longer with us and it absolutely breaks my heart. I had her for over half my life. Got her when I was 12 years old. She was about to be 17 years old. Um, so now I just keep it as like a little keepsake. I just started crying. And then I have this little piece that is actually pretty funny. It is part of my button for my sunroof. It popped off and I really hope I didn't vacuum up the top part of the button because it fell somewhere and I forgot to look for it and I'm pretty sure I vacuumed it up and I just hadn't fixed it yet. So I probably should do that before I lose this piece. And then here is what my radio looks like. It is all touchscreen, even all of that to the left. So something else that's really cool, like I was telling y'all about my, when I turn my right blinker on, how it has a camera, I can actually turn that on and leave it on all the time if I want. And I don't know if y'all can see, those little lines but it shows like if a car is back here I'm good here's good and then if they're right here then they are too close for me to get over and there is one of my husband's trucks so I think that is really cool and then on my mirror I have this little owl air freshener it is actually not scented anymore I've had this up for probably close to two years maybe even longer I just think it is so cute so I just keep it hanging up here and then this is a little Victoria's Secret pink dog leopard print of course and I actually sewed this string on so I could hang it here on my mirror and then this rosary is actually from the Vatican in Italy so I thought it was so pretty and wanted something from the Vatican. So yeah, I just have that hanging there as well. I do have it running because it is really hot. And then here's my steering wheel and all that. So now I'm gonna show y'all what is in my glove box. So I don't really have a whole lot in my glove box. I have of course my registration and then all my car papers like the owner's manual and all of that. And then I have this tire pressure gauge that I don't think I knew I had in there. And then I have this mini emergency sewing kit. Fun fact, I do know how to sew. Right after high school, I went to school for fashion design and merchandising, but I just went there a year, but I did learn how to sew. I got a sewing machine. I know how to do patterns and stuff like that. I'm not the best sewer, but I do know the basics. I can sew on a button him stuff stuff like that so I do have this little kit I know I know it's not pink either I got it because this is the only color they had or maybe my mom got it for me I don't really know but y'all know I would have got pink if they had it so it just has some little spools of thread some needles a tape measure these adorable scissors look how cute these are some safety pins and a thimble if you don't know what a thimble is it looks like this and you put it on the end of your finger when you're hand sewing that way you can use that to push the needle through and it doesn't hurt your finger another little fun fact so one more thing that was in my glove box and it's another emergency thing and that is my emergency makeup kit so the reason I have this is because my husband is a power lineman and travels for work sometimes and if he works weekends a lot of times I'll go and see him because I miss him when he leaves and if I don't then I won't see him for two weeks sometimes three so one weekend I was gonna go see him after work and I worked an hour away from home so I just took all my stuff with me that way I could leave straight from there and I got all the way there to where my husband was working and realized 
I forgot my makeup. Normally, that's not a big deal, but a lot of times we will go out to eat and I like to look presentable. Now, a lot of times I just do this. I don't have any foundation on today and I've been doing a lot more simple makeup, but at the time, this was about maybe three years ago, I like always needed a full face of makeup so he took me shopping we went to Ulta and I put it all in here and funny thing is I haven't forgot my makeup since but I do have it if I need it now I always triple check to make sure I always have my makeup with me so I have a dirty beauty sponge I have a Brighter Days primer, which is a, an illuminating primer. But these are really cool. It's made by Beauty Blender, and it is a thin piece of sponge that absorbs oil, and it doesn't mess your makeup up. So that is really cool. I actually forgot it was in here. I also have this little palette that I might take out. I don't know. Well, I don't know, because it has bronzer, blush, and highlighter and then eyeshadow but I have like so much other stuff this is one of my favorite contour brushes because it is the perfect size to fit right in the hollows of your cheeks I actually need to put an eyeshadow brush in here because that is one thing I don't have I do have a eyebrow brush shape tape this is a must if I took anything if I took this little makeup kit out I would definitely definitely leave the shape tape this is my holy grail and even on my more natural days I have to have shape tape I have an arch architect brow pencil a Park Avenue princess bronzer a mini eyeliner a blush lingerie lippy kit kit lingerie lippy lipstick there's a tart setting powder there's also a mini laura mercier setting powder how cute is that a tart lip gloss ready set radiant spray also by tart a mini hangover face primer by too faced a melted liquid lip from too faced liquid highlighter another brow brush Amazonian clay stick foundation also from Tarte and then my all-time favorite highlighter champagne pop and this is a full size okay so that is all that was in my little emergency makeup bag so this is the only thing that's in my back seat oh no just kidding I have two umbrellas but I am always cold so I like to keep this sweatshirt in here just in case okay so I do have two umbrellas and one of them I didn't even know was still in here it had rolled underneath my seat and found it when I was vacuuming so what I did was put them both in the pocket on the passenger seat and that is actually the very first time I have ever used that pocket and I was like you know what I need to just put them there that way they're not rolling around everywhere and that way they're easy to get to so this umbrella is actually a Tarte umbrella and I got it for one of my gratis orders it has Tarte written on the outside and then on the inside it is a really cute like rainforest and then this other umbrella is a coach one. I'm pretty sure I got it at the outlet in Sevierville at Tanger Outlet, but I just thought it was really cute and I loved all the colors and it's just so cute. So I only have two more things to show y'all and it is underneath my radio. I will show y'all like an up close in just a second, but I keep these in here. They are little cleansing cloths that clean screens so you can clean your phone screen and I use them to clean my radio touch screen because I get so many fingerprints especially like when I have makeup on it'll have like makeup prints and then it gets really dusty so I will use those to clean that okay so now for the controversial item I'm sure y'all already guessed but it is a handgun Just in case you missed it I do live in Tennessee so it is legal to have a gun in your car because it is 
It is an extension of your house, but I also have my handgun carry permit, so I am legally allowed to take it outside of my car as well. So it is a Glock 43. Glock is my husband's favorite and I do really like them as well. It's a really good size. I don't like when my pinky hangs off the edge, so it's just a really good size for my hand. And I also have two pink guns that I am so obsessed with. I wonder if I could talk my husband into powder coating this pink. Probably not. But my other ones are Walther's. I have a P22 and a 380, but they are both like a light pink and they're so cute. But yeah, I just really like this one. And it is like the perfect spot right underneath. So it's really easy to get to. If I need it, hopefully I won't, but if I do, it's easy to get to. So here is where I keep it. And then I have a USB port here that I have my pink cord. And then there's a regular cigarette lighter that I have just a normal phone charger. But that is where I keep my gun. So it's just right underneath my radio. So I don't know if y'all are interested in seeing what's in my trunk. I only have a little basket of like car stuff and jumper cables but i'll go ahead and show y'all that too okay so here's the inside of my trunk i do have a weather tech mat in here and weather tech floor mats i absolutely love them they don't look the best but they are great at keeping stuff from getting on your actual car floor i love how the sides come up so it helps keep your interior clean I have these <laughs> jumper cables that my husband made they are huge and heavy but they are definitely heavy duty and will get the job done and then I have this little basket that just has like some car cleaning stuff so I have armor all wipes and then some more microfiber towels but that is everything that's in my car I know I didn't really have a whole lot but I hope that y'all still enjoyed it if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. But I don't have anything else to say except thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video.